Hey, welcome to my channel. I am Dr. Sharice and I help black men and women heal from trauma and toxic relationships. If you have not already, I have a part one to this video and it is about the levels of trauma that people experience. If you have experienced trauma, I think you would benefit from watching my video. I am a psychologist, but I'm not your psychologist. This is just for educational purposes. I want to help bring some awareness to the problems of this world so that you can live a life with as much joy and peace as possible. If that sounds good to you, please consider subscribing to my channel, liking this video, leaving a positive comment because it really helps with the algorithm, and sharing this video with someone you think it may help. The person who's at level one of experiencing trauma, right? They haven't really gone through anything traumatic, but they've experienced some things in childhood. I think every single person on earth can benefit from a year of therapy, six months to a year. And so if you don't really have you know, significant problems, a year of therapy would be beneficial because you can still work the kinks out of what society has taught you in terms of how you think of yourself, what you believe of yourself. You know, you may or may not have some unsupported friends, but not toxic friends. Uh, you may want to deepen your relationships or explore why you might be feeling unfulfilled in some areas of your life. Maybe it's like a purpose thing for you, a career thing for you, but there might be an area I think that you could explore. Anyone can learn about coping skills to help deal with the normal ups and downs of being a human. Level two of experiencing you know, emotional or verbal abuse in childhood, I think two to three years of therapy is probably ideal, right? These aren't fixed numbers. Some people might need less, some people might be more, but I think having a therapist or two or three that you work with over the course of two or three years, or maybe you take a break and then you come back to therapy after you've learned and applied some things would be beneficial because the person who's experienced this level two of trauma has toxic relationships i mean has some um, you know interactions with people that are not healthy um you know might be feeling repressed rage or um, repressed memories might be not feeling whole or worthy might be a people pleaser or having problems at work i, I think problems at work are unlikely most people who are people pleasers are very good at work, but you might be experiencing some problems at work with specific people, not with like the job itself, but the interactions with people. So maybe at level two, you want someone who is trauma informed or understands attachment theory, but definitely at level three and above, you need someone who is a specialist in trauma, understands the ins and outs of what symptoms accompany someone who's gone through a traumatic experience and years of traumatic experiences the person who has experienced you know level three trauma um their their experiences are pervasive like across their life there are these problems that might feel normal but really aren't right you're not supposed to be arguing you know every day every other day every week with your partner um you're not supposed to feel like you can't trust your friends but this person might feel like i don't know who to trust which is really a lack of trust in self um i don't know what to do with my life i i don't like being alone or i don't like you know doing things by myself this person needs years of therapy i would say at least three years of therapy to work through some of these things because there's um there's an unlearning process of all the things that you thought were okay and normal um learning that it was not it was not and the reaction that the people around you had was inappropriate and then there's a learning or relearning process where now you are incorporating positive skills like you're, you're having improvements in your life it's a shift from surviving to thriving the person at level four who's experienced trauma is likely the person who ends up drug addicted in adulthood right most people who are drug addicted in adulthood start when they're teenagers because when there's no one else to turn to it's the thing the drug that then makes your brain feel good. And then after that process has been you know, established, it's very hard to stop using. Um, I don't know if you know anyone in real life, or maybe you, you understand that it's like, it's hard. It's hard for people to stop using this thing that is used to comfort them. Alcohol is, you know, one of the worst drugs. Look, you feel like it should be illegal, uh, but you can die from withdrawal from alcohol. Whereas the other things, you know, it's very, very uncomfortable, but they're unlikely to kill you just by stopping use. Alcohol, 
you need to be under a doctor's supervision to withdraw from alcohol because you could just die like your heart could stop you could just stop breathing from stopping right from stopping uh so it might not be drugs it could be food it could be sex that a person is using to cope after having gone through this level of trauma it can also show up as this person being a high risk taker or engaging in a lot of escapism to not feel right to then numb the pain of what it's like to experience years and years of trauma and maybe having told one or two people who weren't exactly supportive or still keeping it inside the thing about trauma is um the this the idea right i like to say secrets fester word to Brene Brown. secrets fester and it's not just that the trauma happened it is everything that happened after it's how people reacted to it it's how you feel seen or validated having shared this experience with other people and shame is often a thing that needs to be explored a trauma-informed therapist would know that shame and guilt are important parts to explore in your story it wasn't your fault but it's your responsibility to heal and then in level five uh level five i think maybe one of the similarities with level four would be um maybe some suicidal ideation suicidal gestures or maybe an attempt or two or three um this person i think needs ongoing treatment like maintenance like even after three five years of therapy they probably still need to come back in and check in because what they went through is so uh, overwhelming so consuming in the psyche of a person that the healing process is much slower um, and takes a long time and so there's ongoing maintenance needed there's often reality check-ins that need to happen so this person can stay grounded and understand so think of this person as um you know not just needing aa because level four person probably would benefit from like alcoholics anonymous or an ongoing support group i think everyone could sort of benefit from group therapy and if not group therapy then uh, a circle right there's women's circles there's men's circles you need to be in community with people who've had a similar experience to you so that you know you're not the only one uh but this person who you know went through such severe trauma often needs like a home base to come back to so that they can stay level um sane in reality throughout the rest of their life um uh, i didn't talk about you know medical um medication treatment i'm not a specialist on psychotropic medication like you know things that help with depression or anxiety or things like that i hope you found this video helpful or at least insightful i didn't share my t-shirt this is a spirit soul says t-shirt it says relationships are for the evolution of your soul i often say it <laughs> uh because they really are and one of the most important things for trauma is to talk to someone could be a therapist strongly recommend a therapist if you've been through trauma could be a friend could be a spiritual retreat could be a women's like it could be so many different things but you have to tell your story you have to tell other people who love and care about you this is a thing that happened to me so that they can comfort you and validate you and make you feel like i am important this wasn't my fault and i can heal from this you can definitely heal from anything and some spiritual work may be needed you can find a lot of other videos on my channel about how to be your best self you know how to invite joy and peace into your life let me know what you think in the comments remember to like subscribe share this video with someone you think it may help and thank you for watching